Learning with Santino. Hi everyone, my name is Santino and I just love mathematics, or maths for short. Do you know why I love maths so much? It's because maths is everywhere. We all see maths, we all think about maths, we all talk about maths, and we all even play with maths every single day and we don't even realise it. So today we are going to be learning about what is mathematics and where can we find it. So let's get learning! To get us started today, I would like to ask you, what do you know about maths? You might want to pause it here to give yourself some thinking time and so you can tell a friend all the things that come to your mind when you think about maths. Hmm. So today's question is, what is maths? And to answer our question, we'll need to get exploring. So let's begin right here in your very own learning space. Uh, speaking of learning spaces, I better get into mine. Well. Here I am in a classroom. Maybe you're in a classroom too. Have a look around. I'm sure there's lots to see. Actually, I can see that there are lots of things to count here. Like, how many tubs are there? Or, how many blocks can you see? Or even, how many pencils are there on the table? Do you know how to count? Well, guess what? Counting is maths. We use numbers all the time. We count numbers, we read numbers, we even group numbers. Now have a look around your classroom. I'm sure you will find lots of things to count. But maths is more than just numbers. Look closely. Can you see different shapes? Like what shape is the table? A circle. And check out that big window. It's made up of two rectangles. I can see lots of squares on the blocks over there and look up at the decorations. Lots of triangles. Shapes are everywhere, they're all around us and yes, shapes are maths too. Look around your classroom, what shapes can you see? But wait, there is still more to see here. Let's have another look at the hanging decorations above. Do you notice a pattern? Yes, the triangles have been hung in a pattern. We have a yellow and green pattern over there and a red and green pattern over there. Patterns always repeat. They are all around us and yes, patterns are maths too. What patterns can you spot in your learning space? Maybe you'll find some colour patterns, maybe some shape patterns, maybe even some patterns on your clothing. Well, now it's time to jump out of the classroom and head outside. Let's go! Oh, wow, here we are at the playground. What a fun place. Do you like to play at the playground? Well, there's plenty of maths here too. Look around. How many slides can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six slides. Whoa, that's a lot. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see that two slides are very long. There's one slide that's very short and then there are three in between. We could measure how long each slide is and that would be maths. Yes, when we measure things, that is also maths. Maybe you could measure how tall you are or how high you can climb up a climbing frame or even how far you can swing on the monkey bars. If you're measuring, then you are working with maths. Okay, let's take another look at the playground. Oh, I'm sure that you've noticed the roof on top. What shape makes the roof? Yes, lots of triangles. And did you notice a pattern up there? Red, green, red, green. Next time you're at the playground, look out for all the different shapes, numbers and patterns that you'll find all around you. Okay, it's almost time to head back inside, but on the way, I want to quickly stop in the garden. And yes, there's maths here too. What's something beautiful that grows in the garden? Yes, lots of beautiful flowers. Next time you're in the garden, look at the shapes and patterns of different flowers and the petals. 
If you have a vegetable patch, you might be able to spot and count what's planted in each row and maybe even measure them as they grow. That is all maths. And hey, check out that wheelbarrow. It is full. If you tried to push that, do you think it would be light or heavy? There's maths again. Well, before it gets too hot out here, let's head back inside. Well, there you have it. Maths is everywhere. We use maths when counting anything at all. We use maths when measuring short and tall. Maths in patterns, shapes and sorting too. We can see maths in everything we do. Now I have a special job for you and I am confident that you can do it. This week, I want you to become a math detective. So wherever you go, keep a lookout for anything and everything to do with maths. You might find maths in your classroom, in the playground, in your garden, in your home, or even at the shops. You will be surprised at what you'll find. Enjoy becoming math detectives, everyone. Happy learning and see you soon. Be sure to like and subscribe. There's lots more to see. Come back again soon for more learning with me.